Hello Taurus, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 17th through the 24th, 2017. The cards I'm using today are oh she oh sorry, um Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Alright, um, make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Somebody has been thinking about leaving for a long time. And they keep saying, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And they're really contemplating it now. Like, they not joking. No more false words. Alright, so if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And thank everybody for everything. Alright, let's go. Sorry, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on for Taurus for the July 24th? I mean, 17 to the 24th, 2017. All right, guys. I feel like that was all wrong. Like, it's just a whole bunch going on. This is y'all. Y'all doing this to me, okay? That got a siren. Somebody's been telling you something over and over and over. Uh, General Reen, so this could be being told to you too um somebody um wants the uh wants you to open your heart and they keep telling you over and over or you've been telling somebody to open your their heart all right i'm gonna just do these straight up i'm not gonna do the verse verse right now it's a general reading you can go either way all right so i'm gonna do it as this so somebody has been telling you something over and over, Taurus. They want you to open your heart. You want them to open their heart, you know, but I feel like somebody feel like they're not doing it. You know, they're not opening up like you want, you know, and I feel like your partner is telling you, no, you're feeling like somebody is just taking and taking and taking and not giving, you know. It's like, you want me to do all this stuff, but you won't do it kind of thing. You want me to open my heart and give you things, but you won't do that for me. So, um, I think somebody been talking about a trip for a long time or moving closer or somebody is moving closer. But I feel like this is all talk. I feel like somebody is saying all this stuff, but nobody's actually doing it. Okay, so somebody feels like moving in or a trip is an unwise decision. And that's why they contemplating leaving. They like... Yeah, so it's just an imbalance going on. It's like... one. Everybody feel like they're doing everything and the other person is doing nothing. You know? So, basically... I want to say everybody's uh, self-centered. All right, so supposedly by the end of the month, somebody... What is somebody going to do by the end of the month? Hmm. Okay. So the end of the month, somebody's going to start lying and deceiving about where their money is. Okay, so somebody's getting ready to uh, leave. I don't know if this is you or the partner, but I feel like by the end of this month, you know, if you guys can't come to a compromise, maybe you just moved in together for some of you, um, your partner is going to start stacking up money in line where that they don't have any so they don't spend nothing on the relationship and they're, they're going to leave. Somebody's planning a trip. Yeah, somebody has lost all kinds of love. They don't... They're not attracted to you anymore. Or you're not attracted to them. Okay, there's no attraction there anymore. And since all these are upside down, I feel like your partner is doing this to you. But like I said, General, you could be doing this to them. Somebody is just not attracted. They feel like, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say disgusted, but they feel just you're inconsiderate. Like, all I do is give, you know. All I want you to do is open your heart. You know, it's crazy. Okay. So, that's seven of staffs. Somebody. Okay, so one of you still wants to fight. And since I think that was upright, I feel like it's you, 
Taurus that still wants to fight in your partner. Like, mm, no. Yep, somebody, yeah. Somebody wants to fight and the other one is going to be sneaking away in the middle of the night. I feel like they've done this before, though. Just because that was reversed. All right. I do shuffle a lot. Okay. There's poor communication going on about feelings. We know that. Oh, backstabbing in the back. That's probably the person that left in the first place and came back. So you may be dealing with an Aries or somebody just real structured and planning stuff. Somebody's really planning the getaway. All right. Somebody's ready for battle. Oh, nines and tens, eight, nine, ten. So somebody is ready to complete this because of the lack of comfort, um, convert, the lack of like connection. There's no connection here. All right. So what we have first, we have the eight of cups reversed. Um, uh, celebration, proclaimed happiness, a gathering. Uh, new possibilities can be created when you look at alternate directions. So this is basically like when you look at something else, if you go somewhere else, you'll have something to celebrate about. You'll have something good. So basically saying that this relationship is basically over. Okay. All right. Sorry. What is this? Ten. Tennis horse. And it's right side up. Uh, bitter disappointment at the outcome of events. Mental and physical pain may be present. Be very careful of desperation. Be very careful. Okay. So. I don't know. I mean, I feel like this person has left in the past. They dipped out in in the night, and then they came back, and it's like, okay, well, I don't trust you no more. It's, all the trust was lost, you know, but I feel like somebody was trying to get everything together. Let me read these. I hate putting my input in this last part. All right, a person who is not afraid to speak their mind has strong beliefs and does not change their mind easily. Promotion at work, a time for success and achieve, I mean, advancement. A great time, no, a great chance to make money, a uh, time of power. Wow, so I feel like for some of you, you went back to this person or they came back to you so they can sit and stack their money. But they're contemplating leaving. Or you are. Somebody just went back to the ex just to sit there and make money. That's basically straight up it. Somebody moved back in so they can make money. Okay. All right. So we got the nine of staffs. Problems of your past may haunt you. Enemies may be near. Be very careful with your trust. Take what you have learned in the past and use it now. Yeah, that's definitely it. So you should have known better when you let this person back in your house that, you know, they were going to do the same thing, but they came and they just accepting all these gifts and stuff and they stacking up and they getting ready to, to dip out on you. They're going to leave in the middle of the night like they did last time, but this time they're going to have a lot with them, you know, but this could be the first time for some of you, you know, but if, if it's the second time, you should have known from the first. All right. So we got the nine of swords is the last card. Nine, nine, nine. The swords are always hiding from me. Um, dreams, nightmares, difficulty sleeping may be present. A very stressful time is indicated. Yeah, because you thought it was going to be lovey-dovey on this way back. You want this person to open their heart, your heart to their heart to you. And they just uh, stacked up their money, took some of yours, and left in the middle of the night. You know, I don't know. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your son.